So I'm filming this whole process of moving. And everything was going completely the way it should go. It was smooth sailing. I got the packing done. I mean, that was a little chaotic, but for the most part, I got it done and without any troubles. There was a little bit of worry, but not, not too much. Um, I knew my body was under a lot of stress. But here at the end, at the last hour, it begins to freak out because it's like under so much pressure. And then my mental state gets messed with. And then everything falls apart. I haven't even been at angry at Jeremy at all until this past few days. Um, this weekend was a long weekend with the kids. And instead of spending time with me, Jeremy was on his own schedule and I didn't even really see the boys. I think tonight, uh, if they get back in time, we're gonna have dinner, but that's about it. So that made me a little sad. And then before that, um, I realized that I had miscalculated terribly and I didn't even have enough to cover the moving of the U-Haul box. And I had to like panically put out there, please help me. And I guess I may have misled people to think that I was solely um, dependent on my mom for this move. I put in more than half of the money that was needed for the U-Haul box. Way more than half. Um, I had been saving money and also I went crazy selling my clothes and adding things of value. And I did that stupid anonymous question thing to do a YouTube video about questions that y'all wanted to know. And I did, I recorded it, it was done. I answered all the other questions on my stories. And then a night and a, two nights maybe later, I get on my phone and there's like, somewhere between 14 to 20 messages. Our questions are, let's just say it like it is, statements ready for me to read. And I did read them and I started answering them and replying. They were terrible. They were trying to get me to feel bad. They succeeded. I I hate to let them win that, but they succeeded. And I was fine, actually, until this one come up. And it said I needed tough love. And it wasn't a statement. It was those words and saying that I didn't know tough love. And if you know my history, I don't have to sit here and tell you that I am more than knowledgeable in quote unquote tough love. 
and it just set me off. I, I couldn't answer anymore. I was done. I knew I could not be polite anymore. I yelled at Jeremy about something. I don't even remember. It was stupid, probably. And, um, I cried. I said I wished I was unalive. This trip was probably going to unalive me anyway. I let people do that to me. there see he's right there and we are both goofy but I drive better than he does I'm just calling it right now <laughs> I'm not gonna argue. because you know ever since I had the wreck I drive so slow there's no like if I get hit it'll be by somebody driving like 20 <laughs> yeah. I like, I'm just, like a grandma driving. It's like Austin Powers, you're both going towards each other and you're like, ah! Yes! For like five minutes. Oh my gosh, look how pretty the sun is. Or not the sun, well, I mean, yeah, it's the sun. I like your sunglasses. Okay. <laughs> hey, you can disagree all you want. No, I do agree. I 
do agree. So, I haven't been record. I didn't record that much because, like, me and my brother have never, like, got to grow up together. So, like, we've been really enjoying these hours in the car together. Just getting to know each other and talk. So, I just really didn't want to record anything because I was just enjoying it. And plus, then, at the end, I was in pain and I didn't want to record that, really. So, let me just get you up to where we are today. Um, we're at our second stop. We did nine hours. And the first day, we drove from Mass to our lo first location. And it was only like five hours we were in the car. And I was a broken. I was so much in pain. Like when my feet touched the ground, I wanted to melt into the ground. I was in so much pain and I didn't, it was, I went into flight mode, I think when I got to the, the bedroom or the hotel room, I like just went in the bathroom and started my business because like I just could only have one which I mind, get in the bed, get in the bed, get in the bed. That was all I could think of. And thankfully my brother was so sweet to me. I asked him to do a thousand things after I got out of the, the bathroom, like get my medicine and hand me this and hand me that. I ended up eating, so I couldn't eat all day. Like I had breakfast, I had a Nutella and banana sandwich on raisin bread and then I could not eat the rest of the day. My stomach was so much not accepting of food. And so I ended up not eating all day. Right before I went to bed, right before my medicine, I ate like six grapes. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks for packing me grapes. Um, and that, I went to sleep. Like, I was done. That's all I wanted. Um... And honestly, I was never so thankful for a bed in my life. And that bed was not that comfortable, Best Western, looking at you. Your, your, your mattress was thin, but more so for an accessible room, your mattress moved way too much. And that was dangerous. Like, if somebody had been in a just like strictly wheelchair transfer situation, that bed would not have been good for them. We are in a Holiday Inn Express today and their beds are always good. I slept like an angel. They had tons of pillows, but I mean, I had my own pillows. They've been removed now, but <laughs> we, Aaron already took them to the car, but there's tons of pillows always at Holiday Inn Expresses and I love their pillows. They're like quality pillows. Their bed is comfortable. However, this bed's not as comfortable as most of the beds at Holiday Inn Expresses has been for me, but they're nice. Like, I don't sink in it. Like, I'm like, you know, and it's soft, but it's not too soft. I hope I'm explaining this right because thumbs up Holiday Inn Express you you really know how to do the beds. I like the beds. Anyway, so I've skipped to the beds on the second night. I should really go back to the morning of the first night. So it was really hard to leave Jeremy, by the way. I don't know if I've talked about that, but I feel like Jeremy cut off his feelings at some point and it was just like he was seeing me off for a, a trip to go visit family. But that was kind of like the way I felt. I felt like my heart was like ripping out. And I felt like he was just, hey, you're going off to be with family now. But I do know us women, we, 
We don't compartmentalize like men do. Or wait, we do? I don't know. What is the difference? Men have one box and women have multiples? Is that how it is? Or is it the other way? Do you know, Aaron? I don't. I can't remember what it is. Yeah. Anyway, I felt a very big difference. I felt like I was going to die. And he felt like, I felt like he felt like it was just another day. So, I mean, I could be totally wrong. Jeremy, you can correct me in the D. The, you're not going to watch this. Let's, let's be serious. Jeremy's not going to watch this. Okay. Anyway, it was emotional for me. I didn't really cry so much. I just internally felt it. Um, but yeah, that ride was so hard on me. And, um, so after I, so after we stopped and I slept and I woke up the next morning, I was, I had this whole outfit situation all planned out, but I had stuck in just in case of an emergency my, um, I put one pair, I wish I would have put two pair of my compression leggings in a bag. So I was like, I'm just going to do them. I'm just going to wear my compression leggings. So <laughs> Aaron helped me get those on. I cannot get them things up by myself. And so he helped me get them on and... What a great brother. He's over there, so this is awkward about me talking about him when I'm recording, but he's a great brother. He He's everything that I could imagine a brother would be. Uh, and so we got on the road, and it took me a little bit longer to get ready. Y'all already know, I can't get anything done in time. But I was trying. I was trying to not be a, a drama queen. And I was trying not to be a powder princess or anything like that. I was trying to just be the basic. The basic Evie. And, um... So, the compressions, 10 out of 10, super fit hero, you are my hero, because your leggings in a 6X is compression for this 7X wear, because I probably, I think I comfortably wear your 7s, but your 6s are compression for me, and like way back when I was seeing the lymphedemic, uh, uh, the, not doctor, but therapist, um, she even agreed that the leggings were, um, compression grade for me with that, the size down from what I would actually be wearing. And honestly, it's the best way. The only thing I have a problem with is at the ankle, it does not stay tight. If it was a little bit tighter, and I'm thinking if I maybe, I don't know. I don't want to mess with them, but like I wish, I wish I could add a foot and <laughs> it be, my foot would be, an ankle would be compressed too. Honestly, I would just put feet on them, but um, they are still my legs did not swell nearly as much when I took my leggings off. I could walk without pain, you know, outside of my foot. My foot is not doing too good, by the way. Um, I did have a lot of problems walking, just doing, just, a, just um, because of my foot pain. But that was just yesterday. It wasn't the first day, really. I mean, last night. Yeah. I'm getting my days confused, y'all. Traveling has a way of doing that. It just becomes one trip 
like one long just mushed together days um but so yeah I was really glad to get the compressions off because they're compressions <laughs> and when you take them off you can breathe better but uh yeah I really I'm gonna probably wear my super fit hero compressions today but I don't have the long ones to wear today I have the the next length compression and I don't think I'm gonna be as compressed because I do think those are the size that I actually wear um, the galaxy maybe I'm probably getting this all wrong actually they're right here let's just do a whole thing um, hold on yes I have the super hold galaxy fit and I think that is the size that I actually wear when I think the other ones is the ones under Galaxy. So, Super Fit Hero, their little sign on their pants. I love you, you're my heart, beep, 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 beep. Um, I really need the whole bodysuit. I love those, by the way. I have another brand of a bodysuit, and I'm always wishing that I had that in the galaxy of the Super Fit Hero. I don't know. Do they have the bodysuit? I can't remember. I don't have it. I know from them, but I do have it from another company. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at. Oh, and yesterday I ate sausage and biscuit for breakfast. I had one like midday. Um, I had some dark chocolate because I had a hellacious headache. And I know it was a caffeine headache at this. I didn't know that. I didn't think about that until Jeremy said something last night when I talked to him. And I was like, oh yeah, it was the caffeine that it was the problem. So yeah, I was having a huge breakdown and that helped a lot like I did take Tylenol also but like I really think it was the dark chocolate that did the trick and and then we had a I had a personal pan pizza for dinner and it was it was good I'm good I'm got a really bad infection in my leg though and um it's my upper thigh area kind of in the back kind of in the side hard to explain not a location I can show now that has got us to this current morning I hope to look better today if I film something I hope to like look like a human Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm going to get off of here. And I've let some steam soak into my ankle so I can walk without being in tears. And I'm going to go try to get dressed. Okay. I'll see you again. So I won't miss it. We're about to get the siding of the arch. Hopefully, we are about to be, or we are in St. Louis. Meet me in St. Louis. Here it comes.
y'all we finally did it we're in the rain this is normal <laughs> for the south oh dear lord poor Aaron can barely see in front of us Ugh. Isn't it weird it does that? It's like, um, what do they call that? Sheets of rain. Yeah, sheets of rain. Yeah, we have had an adventure today. We have gotten to the point we were silly laughing over signs coming back. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. I could go to sleep right now. That is quite all right. So everyone wants to know how I'm doing. I am in misery from the kind of misery that the movie Misery is made from. And right now my head hurts so bad. I don't even, can't even see, like, yes, I know my glasses are on my head, by the way, but even with my glasses on my eyes, I can't see. And I have a zit. I don't see that. It hurts. And no, I have not put makeup on this entire trip. I was not. I was not in the mood to be wearing makeup. Plus, I was crying so much. Like, I've cried this whole... Not even off of the same topic of being left with no boyfriend. Um, it's just been tears. Tears of joy. Tears of sadness. And y'all... Y'all, I don't know what y'all... I don't know if you have siblings... I tell you what, I have the best brother in the whole world. I really, really do. He's a sweet angel. And he is doing such a good job driving today. <laughs> We're gonna leave yesterday. <laughs> no, no, just pay attention, baby. Just pay attention. <sighs> Thank you.